Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to quickly show how to set up your static IPA on Ubuntu. Pretty easy. Uh, I've just literally built this VM. Um, and it's, this one is one of these things you have to do it once and um, you kind of forget about it. But um, at the moment it's the HCP is true to 192.168.112.156 for my computer. Um, at the moment, I can IMTP, I can ping to Google, so I can go outbound, which is all good. What I want to do is change that to false, set a static IP, and keep that the same. So, good test here. I do a uh, curl to Google, I get a 301, so it shows I can go outbound over host names as well. It's also important. Um, and again, same thing here. If I go to yahoo.com, I'm able to... Um, I'm able to also get a response. So the thing that, well, the file, the one file that needs to be changed is uh, in your net plan. So etc net plan, and it's your install config YAML file. So here it's set to true. If I just quit for a moment. Okay, so if I clear, do IP route to see the current gateway to uh, the and find the default one, which is my current setup. And you can see the ENS33 is the source. I can confirm that by doing the IP lookup or IFS lookup. Um, and you can see that the um, the interface along with the IP address matches. So if I go into my config file, I want to do um, the DHCP default. And it's a little bit tricky on the screen, I apologize, given the fact it's a small interface. Um, uh, but obviously, first things I want to do is just make a copy. Any issues, I can just delete and roll back. So make a backup with a timestamp. Uh, with sudo access. So, yeah. And then pop back into the YAML file again. What I'm going to do is set this to false. Ah, it's spells there. Great. And in here, I just want to put the address with the with the subnet of. Uh, so I picked 192.168.112.160. I know that the IP is available. Um, what I'm going to do is actually change that to netmask is 24, given the fact it's um, also available for some of the other IPs to hit. And so within here, I'm going to indent and put in the uh, gateway. Gateway, gateway 4. Uh, I think this is deprecated, but um, it's also, uh, to my understanding, it, it simply works. And I know that my IP address, well, I can, I can confirm it with my gateway in a bit, but if I look at, um, if I put the name servers, I know that I can reach out to Google's DNS. So if I put implore with the with the brackets, a day, day, day. Obviously, if I want any other servers, I put that in there with a comma. After that, check uh, 192.168.112.2. So I actually put the wrong, wrong gateway. So let's put, change that, give that a save. Very clear, so stop the screen again. So sudo netplan apply. And this will give any errors. And I do have an error. I've put in address and not a plural, given the fact it's squared brackets. So give that a save. Should be able to run that now. Very clear. Give it a apply. Yeah, as expected, gateway 4 has been deprecated, use default route instead. Not too concerned about that itself now, given the fact this is a non-production instance. 
Um, but after that, we should be good to go. So if I do sudo netplan, actually have a look at the IP, make sure it's changed. 192.168.112.160, which is good. I can ping to the DNS server, Google, do a curl to Yahoo, I put minus V for, for both, and see a 301, so things are looking good. So I give it a restart and take a little bit of a moment. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, one thing to note as well, actually, I'll start up another server so I can see if I can still ping within that same subnet. Uh, meanwhile, so if I do a, uh, if I log in using my password, password incorrect, I'll try again. Great, I'm in. So, do a IP minus TA, I can see that the static is still good. And I can confirm that on my other screen. So 192.168 is pingable within that same subnet. So things are good. Nice and easy. Problem solved. Thanks guys.